Hello guys, good morning. It is a beautiful day outside today. It's a Sunday, I have nothing to do today except play around with makeup, hang out with you, just kind of vibe. I got a bunch of new clothes in, so I'm gonna do a try on haul. I folded them up too, aren't I so organized? Like I feel like such a neat adult with my life together. My apartment is super clean right now. And yeah, everything is just so fresh, clean, and ready to celebrate a day of self-care and playing around with makeup. It's fall, so I wanna do like a fun fall look with you guys today. And we'll talk about it in the studio, but I have tea. This is my little outfit. It's actually the official before, so this is what I look like before. And I wanna go for something really cute and really just like fall. I wanna take a nice Instagram. Who knows if I'm gonna go somewhere later, like I might go out tonight or whatever. So I wanna have like a cute outfit that I can slay. I got a bunch of new clothes from Shein that I'm gonna try on and pick my outfit from here. And I have been taking makeup lessons, guys. I'm so excited to tell you all about this. Look, I set up my candle for this. I have my essential oil diffuser on for this. The vibes in here are just so peaceful right now that ugh, I'm just happy when I'm in clean surroundings and a clean environment and a welcoming space. Like it's just a guaranteed good mood. So guys, I have started taking makeup lessons because I'm trying to get really good at creating makeup for you guys. Hold on, this camera. Let me tell you something, being a YouTuber is fun, but sometimes the tech aspect of it, I'm like, hold up. I don't know what I'm doing. I also lost an eyelash. Sorry. Probably stuck to me. You know when they just like stick to you? So guys, between you and me, I realized that I was doing a similar look over and over again on my face. And my videos are very, like a lot of the time I just get ready with you and hang out, but I view it as something to do while I'm talking to you. If I'm doing all these get ready with me's, I wanna be able to deliver look after look after look. I wanna serve, I wanna give it to you good, you know? So I'm trying to be the best like YouTuber I possibly can be, so I set up makeup lessons. I have a professional makeup artist coming to my house two times a week to teach me the basics, the not basics, all the nitty gritty. Her name is Crystal. I love her. And we had our first makeup lesson this week and it was so much fun. She said I did a really good job and I look forward to doing these all the time and learning new things and sharing what I've learned with you guys. So I'm going to soak up all the makeup knowledge and distribute it to you guys. I learned a lot in my first class. So this is going to be a really fun journey that I'm excited to bring you guys along with me on and maybe we can learn together and learn new stuff together and that's how I envision this going. So the look I'm gonna do today is gonna be very fall and I feel like this is a good palette to do it. I just got this one, I got a bunch of new tools, I got everything I need to thrive. So this should be fun. I've been trying out this new Morphe liquid eyeliner and I really love it. So this is the one that I was using and do you see how short it is? It made it difficult to make long strides and I just got this one at Morphe, which makes it super easy to just go whoosh and really get that wing in there. So what I do is first I will draw out where this line is gonna go. I like to point it towards like the end of my eyebrow so that I have a reference and I can match it on the other side. Okay, you see what I mean, guys? Like, that looks kind of good. And I'm, I'm just like learning the right way to do things. But this, I mean, is way better than what I was doing before. Now I'm gonna line my eyebrows and I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty brow, whatever it's called. And I'm gonna start from underneath, trace them, then I'm gonna do up top and then I'm gonna just fill them in. It's been really interesting devoting so much time and energy into one thing for a year and seeing that one thing grow and evolve and change, and I'm talking about my YouTube channel, but you can apply this to your own life. If you've worked towards something just again and again, and you get better and things change, and things that are unexpected happen and change the path of it, it's just so cool. This year has also been a lot of travel for me, and I was thinking about this. I remember when I didn't travel that much, and I would look at these Instagram people traveling all the time. It seems so perfect and ideal, and like every time you scroll, they're in a different location, and it's so glamorous and so hype. And you know, funny enough, just reflecting on the year, I'm like, yo, travel? Travel's really great, don't get me wrong. I love traveling, but it is exhausting. 
you like I really just cherish my time at home these days and traveling is a lot of hassle like it really is I don't want to sound ungrateful but if you don't travel all the time I wouldn't I wouldn't obsess over Instagram and how glorified traveling seems on there like, traveling is a lot it takes a lot out of you it's packing it's moving it's planes it's buses and Ubers and cars and transportation and then you're there and then paying for hotels and it's a lot. It's a lot. Once the makeup is done, by the way, we're gonna do a full-blown try-on haul. So thanks to Shein for sponsoring like a portion of this video that we haven't gone to yet, but I'm excited to get there. So I tweeted, I can't believe I just learned this year that staying home and minding your business gets you happiness. And I tweeted this with the intention of talking about it with you guys, because I want to get your feedback. I want to talk about it. I don't know if this is like hard to believe or if it's really easy to believe and you can probably picture it very easily, but I used to be totally in the scene like all about going out, having fun, and just really doing it, always out with my girlfriends, blah, blah, blah. And this year, it's definitely because I'm in a relationship, so I get that I'm, you know, the typical, she got wiped up and doesn't go out anymore. When you get into a relationship, everything changes, and I am at the point in my relationship where it's been a while, we live together, but as a result of being in this relationship and living with my partner, I have essentially this year just stayed at home, <laughs> mind my own business, and just focused on me and on us and on my goals and that's about it. And it has been so peaceful, guys. It has been so like so amazing. I guess I figured when I was single that because I lived in LA that would just always be life like oh people are always out and I, there's so much drama here. There's so much this. There's so much that you can get wrapped up in everything so easily and I've learned that that's really not true and that's a very easy way to hold yourself back and to make excuses for why your life is going the way it is or something like oh I live in LA and things are crazy and hectic and rush 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 and but I'm not so wrapped up in the distractions of this city and that is what has felt so amazing about this year and it really is a huge part of being wiped up you just stay home and have no desire really to like go out and waste time like forgive me if i say it but now looking back like all that going out and partying and believe me that was me i don't know if you like just started watching my channel or if you've seen me like this year where i'm just kind of like this skincare homebody but i have the experience of being the person who goes out and has fun and does it and lives it up i was that person so don't not believe me i really was but comparing the two worlds has been really crazy this year and i love it this way i love being a homebody i love ugh, i love being unproblematic sticking to my lane worrying about myself if i compare it to my year before that where i wasn't as focused and things were just more fun nothing really got done nothing really moved forward there was no progression so if you can relate to that let me know and if you can't maybe just take a little bit of what i said as advice i don't want to be preachy but consider it just consider it i'm using the too faced born this way foundation and i'm going to use the same brush that i've been using like to carve and stuff to outline my eyebrows before I go in there so I don't mess anything up. Guys, Harley's in Hawaii by Katy Perry. That song is so good. She really snapped. I always say like, why did Katy Perry change so much? I don't know what's going on with her, but her music had changed so much and I was not really into it. And I missed like teenage dream era. And I know we all miss that, but Harley's in Hawaii guys. Have you heard it? You and I, I, which are then Harley's in Hawaii, I, ugh. That is my song right now. I listen to that on loop again, 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 again. It's amazing. What's another? You know what really tripped me out, guys? Okay, I can take a man if I want to. But lucky for you, I don't want to. Why are you coming around with that attitude? We all know this song. Guys, if you know, you know. You might have no idea what I'm talking about and this, it might go way over your head. But that song is Mahogany Locks. What? When I found that out, I was so confused. Like... That song is Mahogany Locks. You know what? I, she snapped. Mahogany, if you're watching this, like I, I've known her for a while, like in passing, like we've never really known each other, but I've always like seen her, like she's just kind of been like on social media for a while and I'm just I, like, I'll see her sometimes. I'm like, oh, Mahogany Locks. She really snapped on that track. She really did. Good for you. Like, good for you, Mahogany. 
Wow. Oh God, guys, I'm trying a new pair of eyelashes on and I'm, it's, they're always so overwhelming in the package. Like these are so large. I don't know. I go back and forth from liking like the big, huge drama to like the more natural ones. But these, these might be a bit of an issue. <laughs> Wish me luck. Wish me luck. This might, like I might fly away. Okay, these eyelashes, kind of cute. I'm gonna do a brown liner and then I'm gonna do black on top. And then I'm gonna do lips, probably something a little bit warmer since it's like a fall look, maybe like a darker nude, maybe like a burgundy. And then for the eyes, I just kept it really simple, just like a regular smoky eye, but I did a different technique today and I like how it looks. Woo, this look is coming along. Okay, I'm really excited to try these on. Nothing more that I love than a little, a little runway time, a little try on. I love it. It's fun. It's just girly things. By the way, guys, I love my silk PJ set. I recommend getting at least one like nice set for at home because it really makes you feel like your life is together. Like I stayed home today and did my makeup and that's all I have on my agenda. But for some reason, I feel decadent. I feel like I'm doing things, big things. And it's literally just because I'm not disheveled just because I'm at home. I'm telling you, get one nice pajama set. One that feels nice. This wasn't even expensive. It's not like bougie at all, but it's just, just a little look. It's just a little mood, you know? Oh my gosh, this is, this is really cute. Okay, hello. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to just run around my house like this. Wait, look at the butt. This is cute. This outfit's pretty fun. You got the butt that says meow with literal cat ears. I don't know if you can see it, but there's cat ears. And it's just like a pink moment. I love it. I feel so mean girls in this. I feel cozy. I feel cute, but still like bitchy in a way, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I got this set. It's giving me business casual vibes. Ooh, I like it. So top and bottom are from Shein. The shirt is just like a random example shirt that I threw on. This is a really fun outfit. I don't know if this is fall or if this is meeting like business meeting outfit or what i will wear this to oh it reminds me of clueless that's what it reminds me of i couldn't figure it out and i could even do like any type of shirt underneath like i can put a bralette underneath it i could put a leotard underneath it i could do anything but i like that it's a set okay let's try on the next outfit but let me know what you think of this one in the comments okay honestly did not know what to expect with this leotard i'm very pleasantly surprised also this skirt is also part of my order it's from Shein also but um look at this Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this bodysuit on and I'm gonna try on these pants. Now, when I was on the website, these looked like a very easy pant that you can throw on and like still be fun, you know what I mean? Like, rather than throwing on a pair of leggings or a pair of jeans, like this I feel like is the same amount of like comfortable, like I could be low effort, throw these on, but like still look like a cool girl. Yep, exactly what I thought. Okay, so they're really comfortable. And this is the type of thing that I like when I'm picking out clothing. Like I look cool, but I'm not trying. Like I'm really not, I just threw on a pair of pants. So this for the everyday, I love these. An everyday sleigh, you know what I mean? Like you could throw these on, you could look cool, but you're not really doing much. I also think they're very fall. Wow, this is like a good haul so far. Oh my gosh, hello. Ooh, I feel so classy in this shirt. Okay, I remember picking this bodysuit out. I thought it would be interesting in person because I didn't know how the sleeves were gonna happen in real life. And I put it on and I feel classy. Like, I don't know, I just feel like, oh. I feel like I could throw this on with a pair of like boyfriend jeans or even maybe like a pair of like actual like dress pants. I paired it with this pink skirt that I also just got from Shein. And I like the combo. I don't know if this is how I would actually style it like to wear it, so I'm trying to just think about that right now. Let me know if you have any ideas for this top, because you could really go a lot of different directions with this, so. I don't know how I'm gonna style this top, but I like it. I feel classy in it, and I feel cool. Also, the skirt is cute, too. This will go with anything, so I'm not even worried about, like, what the skirt's gonna go with. I mean, I'm actually not even mad at this outfit together as is. Okay, so I also got this snake print top. I needed more tops. I had a lot of bodysuits, so I needed like a top. Anyways, the tea on Shein is from now until December 2nd. They are running their annual Black Friday sale, so you can get up to 90% off on select items. They offer free returns on anything within 40 days and anything over 49 bucks is free shipping. And what's dope about them actually is they add 500 new pieces to their website every day. So it makes it easy if you wanna stay on trend or if you wanna get your basics for every season, you know, 
keeps it simple and there's like always new stuff on there. And just in case you want any of the stuff that like I tried on, I'm going to link it all in the description. So you can use the code Geraldo for 15% off the entire Shein website. You're welcome. Okay, wow. This one is, I think, my favorite of the whole haul so far. This is everything. Wow, this is everything. Ooh. Okay, this to me, like screams fall. I don't have a lot of pieces like this, which is why I'm like into this because I don't really have anything in my closet like this. I don't know if you're supposed to wear this with like jeans and I could I could see like the type of girl that would probably do like jeans and a pair of like Air Force Ones and like some cool socks. That's not me. I would probably do this with a pair of like pumps. Definitely a pair of pumps. Maybe like a cool backpack. Maybe some really bitchy sunglasses. Wow, I love this. This is the definition of easy fall wow Ooh. let me know what you think in the comments this is like ooh, 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 ooh. okay so i also kind of got it in like sweater form too this is like a different top but similar vibe i'm obsessed with the colors it's very like neutral it just screams fall to me without trying too hard to look like an autumn leaf okay i'm still figuring this one out i don't know if you button it all the way or what but this shirt is interesting say the least what is what i got it because i wanted to again i'm trying to like have variety in my closet i want some classy things like some business cash so this is definitely getting out of my comfort zone a little bit but i'm into it like i can accessorize this with some dope jewelry but what okay this shirt is different i would definitely need to steam it but this is cool i envision this with like a big strappy heel Maybe like a strappy heel that wraps all the way up the leg or a pump with a bag and some big chunky earrings. I don't know, but this is very different. Very cool. I got this shirt to class up my wardrobe a little bit too. It's just like a regular black shirt, but then you have like this little detail that I thought was just like cute. I could put it on and look put together, which I like in very little effort. Like I love having a closet full of crop tops, but sometimes you gotta just get that sophisticated shirt that you could throw on and you gotta pull up looking like you know what you're doing. So I threw on this skirt just to see what it would look like. And this is exactly what I meant. And this is exactly why I chose this shirt. Like I love this. I think I might even keep this on as my look. And I'm gonna get a little, a pick in this. Yeah, I think I might wanna take like an Instagram of this. I also got this like furry crop top just cause it's good to have, especially when it starts to get a little bit chilly and it's so comfortable. It feels like one of those like plush blankies. Mm, this is nice for the house. Okay, um, now we're gonna do something really um, sad and lonely and you're gonna watch me take an Instagram picture like on self timer with my self timer remote. You know, honestly, I don't even think there's any shame in the game. Like sometimes I'm really just not trying to bother people and be like, can you take my picture for me? And then just be picky and then make them take it again and again. And that's like annoying to do to a friend. I can't tell if these are too much or not. I don't know if they're everything or if they're like try hard, but they might, sometimes with the big, big jewelry, it just like photographs really nicely and in person you look kind of crazy. Um, but since I literally have no plans and I might, I've just gotten ready to take a photo, which ugh, I have no shame in that really. Like sometimes you just got to take a picture and call it a day. Who cares? I really don't have any shame in that. Okay, kind of a ah! Okay. What even is this picture? I don't even know what. Hi guys. I just, uh, I just spent so long with my remote taking pictures and I really didn't even get a good one. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I had nothing to do, so practicing makeup today was fun. I'm excited to keep learning makeup and getting better. So today was like a fun practice day for me. I feel like I did a good job, but this is just the beginning. We're about to get really fun in here and make some really fun looks. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with me on this do nothing day. I love you guys.